It might not be obvious at first, but look at the numerator. If the second term is equal to the first term, the numerator will equal to zero. And in order for the second term to always equal the first term, we need to have mu2 equal to mu1, and we need also epsilon2 to be equal to epsilon1. Furthermore, we need I'm going to change color here, this term to always equal 1. So this, we want this equal to 1. In this ratio, we already know that we need mu2 to be equal to mu1, and we also know we already said that epsilon2 is equal to epsilon1. As a result, it looks like we can use this ratio to specify a relationship that is required between sigma and sigma star within the absorbing material. And this, if we ensure this relationship, we'll get a reflection coefficient of zero. So now let's see if we can simplify this expression to develop a more clear relationship between sigma and sigma star. So we're starting off with one minus j sigma star over omega, and I'll write mu one here, over 1 minus j sigma over epsilon 1, and there's an omega here in front. And we want this equal to 1. So now I'm going to move the denominator here to the right side, so I'm going to have 1 minus j sigma star over omega mu 1, and that's going to be equal to 1 minus j sigma over omega epsilon one. So now we can just simplify this further. We can get rid of the one. We can subtract one from both sides. We can also cancel the j's then and cancel the omegas. And then we're just left with sigma star over mu one is equal to sigma over epsilon one. Now we can solve for either sigma or sigma star. I'm gonna to solve for sigma star. So that's going to be equal to sigma over a mu1 over epsilon1. So this means that once we set a value for sigma in our absorbing material, we can figure out what sigma star needs to be in order to get a reflection coefficient of zero. The second requirement for our absorbing material is that the material needs to actually absorb the wave. At the left edge of the grid, we will still have an electric field component that we won't be able to update using regular updates. So on the left side here, if I was going to make a plot of sigma, I'm still going to have sigma equal to infinity right at the left side. So this is versus x. So I'm going to write at e z1. So this is still going to be a PEC right on the left edge. The difference now is that in front of the PEC, we'll have an absorbing material. So now any wave entering the absorbing material needs to be sufficiently attenuated before it reaches through the, to the back of the absorbing material. Reflects off the PEC, and there's still a PEC here, at i equal one, and then propagates back into the computational domain again. So here I'm gonna label this as our air region, and here is our absorbing material. So here, since this is a plot of sigma, we have zero here. And then we're going to have some value of sigma. We have to figure out what that value should be, but there should be some loss in our observing material. And we want the, this value for sigma, sigma to be an appropriate number so that by the time this wave, any wave, plane wave, uh, propagating to the left here, as it, it propagates straight through with no reflection at the interface, propagates to the end, and reflects again from the PEC, by the time it reaches the computational domain again, we want it to be approximately zero. So if this is a plot of sigma, then sigma star, we know, will just be different by a factor of mu one over epsilon one. All right, well, we've developed a solution for terminating the left side of our grid in a manner that shouldn't introduce any reflections, and it should also attenuate any waves propagating to the left. Now the question is, can we implement this absorbing material in our model? Well, 
And certainly we can probably specify mu2 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu0. We can say epsilon2 is equal to epsilon1, set them both equal to epsilon0. And we can also test different values of sigma to see what gives us just the right of absorption before the wave reaches the edge of the grid. And then we can also you know, specify sigma star here. But there is one problem. Do you know what it could be?